Well, good morning, everybody. So I thought today what we would do is, um, I thought I would show you oh, how to get flowers. So the first thing that we need to do to get flowers is get bone meal. And with bone meal, you hit the ground and random flowers appear. Oh, not these guys again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and how is it you get rid of these vindicators? Is that what they're called? No. Um, pillagers. I don't know. Maybe this will mess up my whole idea. So it looks like it's nighttime now. So since there's pillagers out there, I don't want to take much with me, right? I want to be, because I'll probably die, because that's what happens. All right, so we've got our hose, and where did they go, those villagers? And what's that red dot over there? Ah, just a flower. Now, I'm not sure that I can win against a pillager. Not with crossbows. I do have... I have 13 arrows and a bow. <sighs> Should I fight them? If I can fight them, they can fight me. Well, if we're going to try and do that, let's just go up and have a look outside. But first, let's make it daytime. That's going to be so much easier. Hey, you like my pink llamas? <laughs> I, I've been breeding llamas. I don't think I have any more hay bales. No. If you give them each a hay bale, then they'll have baby. And I don't have any more... Um... leads. Alright, let's get rid of the night time. Make ourselves a little safer. Alright. Well, let's go up and have a look at where they are first of all. I think I need to have another layer of windows here. I think it's so cool how you can create a forest so easily. I love my pathways. I love, there's ten pathways I think now. And they're all named. Somebody was on a comment, they explained that when you have the What are they called? Pillagers. When the pillagers show up, you'll always get pillagers to show up. I don't I don't understand how that works. Alright, well, I don't see them this morning, but that doesn't really mean we're safe from them. What's that movement over there? A pig. Alright, well doing flowers with those guys around is dangerous business. I'm tempted to decorate my second level instead of going outside, but let's be brave. I think I'm going to take these some of these away. Oops. So now, I had a baby here, and I think he's grown up. And if you have one llama, they'll stay with it, generally. Where's that baby? Did he grow up yet? One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. 
Where's the bait? Oh, let's get that lead. Well, where'd the baby go? He's not going to be over here or anything. He's going to be with his family. I don't see him. Alright, well let's start by... Let's go to the wheat field. Let's check out the mine. Well, wheat has not regrown yet. <clears throat> Yeah, I just, I just harvested it. This used to be my farm, but it's become lots of pathways. And this is not the boots that I got a saddle for. There's two boots. Now, I think you breed horses with hay bales too, don't you? Let's just... Well, I don't really want to change all my pathway decorations. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was out here working on making a birch trail. See, I've now got all these birches. Somebody said I should use a mouse. Which is probably true. Oh yeah, I've got two over here. Did they have a baby? Are you are you tied up? You're not even tied up, are you? Where's a post? Do we have a post here somewhere? Let's see if oh there's a post. But I don't really want them right in my face. Let's see if I've got a post in here. I have a fence, a gate, that'll probably work. Will it work? I don't have wood wherewith to make anything yet. This is just my little way wayside spot so I can Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you are tied up. Well where's your baby? I know I gave you a baby. Oh look, some wheat over there ready. Okay. There you are. This is the boots. Oh. Do you have a saddle on? Yes. Hi. So this pathway here, as you can see, this goes over to the rest of the world. There's a lot of stuff over there. So this is an un unfixed pathway, but first, let's get some wheat. I like to take my wheat and push F and put it in the left hand. And then with the right hand, I use the the hoe. You know. I've got lots of, some people open new worlds all the time, and I, I don't, because I'm a hoarder. I like to, um, I like all my worlds, 
I like to keep them so I can see what I've done, where I've been. Hi chicken, would you like a bite? You have to go find a friend. And, um, I like to feed the chickens so that I have more chickens. Because if you have chicken feathers, you can make arrows. And I did find, I know you teenager people out there that are, or young, whatever. You know all these things, but not me. Alright, let's enlarge this spot. Oops. Oops, <laughs> keep doing that. All right. Okay, so now where is our composter? I need a composter. No axe. We'll just sleep here tonight. I like the yellow. If you put a yellow carpet on your llamas. See, when you've got... Um, I love, I love the llama stuff. When you hear a village trader, oh, oh, I don't like village traders. I think they're extremely expensive. <laughs> All right. Yes, a composter. You know what's missing here? Should have some orange carrots in here. I really like these these copper things. See to the carrots how nice it, it adds. Oh, we can harvest more carrots now. Oops. Now it's become a wheat spot. 
So you have to put, push F and get that carrots over there. And then get this one. Because without water, you can grow a garden without water. But where is your baby? I should take you guys somewhere and put you somewhere else since you're right in the way. Oh, they're always in the way. The cows ain't the Those aren't ready to harvest. A few of them are. But not everything. We'll wait. Alright. Where's the composter? Let's take a composter and wood. Alright, so to make a composter you need planks. Planks, planks, planks. There's a composter there, but let's make a new one. So we'll get some planks. You know what? I think I'm going to put composters. You need to take, you need two of those sets to get enough for a composter. Why don't we put a composter beside each of our fields so that we don't have to do this again? Dry pond. It's beyond dry pond. Here's our wheat field over here. We'll put our composter. Where should we put it? I don't want to put it here. Not a good place, I know. What's the best place? Hello, piggies. Well, since there's two of you, I just push F and away I go. Oh, is that a hole there? Okay, that's a good place for a compost. Okay. Let's go and the other spot of the other field. I need that roof to come over further. Oh, look, it's full of honey. It's incredible how they just put... I need shears to get the honey if I'm going to get honeycomb. And a bot no, a bottle for the honey. Shears for the honeycomb. Do we have a composter by this field here? I like seeing a long expanse of these guys. Okay. So now here we go. Nanny. Those oh, I've got that in the uh, 
must have been in my offhand, right? But your offhand works if you if if the Okay, so we're gonna put the carrots in our offhand and put this in this hand. I like carrots. You can you can make more compost from carrots than you can from wheat. But with wheat, you've got wheat and you've got seeds, and they both make compost. Okay, so now we're back to let's see. Put that in F and put this in. This is dark because I'm near water. I've got four blocks to get to the beside the water to give you fertile land, or at least wetland. But then, of course, you've got blocks that keep drying up and turning back to dirt. This is all for flowers, so it's not just, but you know, I used to think that you had to get in a boat and go searching for flowers, but no, you can just make oatmeal, and you hit the ground and you get random flowers. I've been watching the news about Grindavik. If you're not familiar with it, Grindavik is in Iceland. If you've ever flown to Europe, you go over Iceland generally or near it. You can usually see it out the window. So it's interesting when you're in a plane and you, you're you very close to something and you can see it, or you even land there to refuel, but you don't get off. We, I've never landed there. but. It's interesting because have you really been there? <laughs> well, yes, you have. Your body is actually in that place. You're not visiting, perhaps. Um, I think let's go to sleep. We have another house over here, of course, a base. You see, instead of making a new world, I just start playing and go somewhere and exploring. I find that when you want to go exploring, you know, you've filled up the area. Well, if you just go exploring and then you just end up building something there, these wayside houses, 
And sometimes they become the new base. But I I love that I've already made these things, so if you start a new world every time, you end up redoing the same thing over the all the time. It's so much simpler. You can I think you can do more if you keep your, your houses. You know, if you watch some people like I mean Waddles is a good example. He's created many things that are they get bigger and bigger, right? The towns. I guess it's Waddles. Anyway, there's some these YouTube people that come up whenever you want to learn something. Skip the tutorial and <clears throat> you can also compost your, your this is probably a lot easier too because you get two every time you hit it That's how I get arrows. You recognize that place, eh? That's Daniel's Mining Corporation. We're not going to go look at it, but those are blocks. Those are piles of stuff he has mined. He does an incredible job mining. I like that skeletons in the daytime are is that what they're called? Skeletons? Yeah. When... Let's check and see if things are in the water. It's helpful to have leaves on the side of your... Because then when you fall in the water, or when things fall, you see? It, not much is floating in the water. It's easier to get to. Okay, have I got all of my wheat here? I don't think so. Didn't I have another field here? Oh, there it is. And talking about saving your old worlds. When you save your old worlds, you can also connect them in the nether. Make nether portals. And then you connect them all. And you can make, if you, with the nether, Daniel realized that if he went below the lava, which is quite hard to do, obviously, but if you, if you choose to do that, you can make a whole subway system down there without having to deal with all the, the very uneven ground and the big hole, um, you know, cliffs and things like that. Or underneath the lava, it's better. Oops. The trouble with a mouse is I don't sit at a table or desk. If you're at a desk, uh, let's get some of these because oh, Nancy. Okay, this. These are sea cucumbers. They're nice for your water, with decorating your waterways. Wait till they all float. So 
So if you go down to the bottom to, to cut these, Is there an animal that eats sea cucumber? Now, I wonder actually, you probably compost sea cucumber too. could just do that over here. I could figure out where I put my compost. Turp. All right, let's get rid of things now. Look what we have. It'll make a lot of bone meal. So you can get one bone meal for about every 10. So there's six times, what's that, 90? 10, this is three, six, nine, nine, eighteen. Anyway, so so after this whole this um, hole empties, number one, it'll go to the off hand, and that'll start emptying. Turn on the light in here. Hey, Mom. Mom, what the hell are you doing? I don't have to have so much light. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Hi, Mongo. Malchus. You are so wet. enough fields then you can rotate which ones you're harvesting because they're not always ready like if you're really into this path stuff I I I watched some videos about making paths out of different stones and then I started making pathways out of different stones but then I learned about decorating the pathways and so you shears and you get leaves and you use, um, you know, you get all this stuff and you make bone meal. And then you hit the ground, you make the little flowers. And you those three kind of tall flowers, the roses, peonies, and little lilacs. You hit them and then you get another one of them with the bone meal. And so you can decorate, but you don't want just flowers. If you put bushes like leaves here and there and then you put 
like some decorative blocks. I, I really like using the copper blocks now. I never had any use for copper. But they're really pretty. You can use them in pathways or you can use them as blocks. And I don't think you can make slab out of them. I, I haven't seen that you could do that. Uh oh, it's getting dark again. Oh, is that Mongol? Oh, that's. We have all these stray cats. Not stray, they're a family of cats that I have. I've been feeding and getting to know. It's getting dark out there. I've got to be safe. Hi, Malchus. You need to have lick your all that water off your back. Yes. Or you could rub it on my legs. That works too. Are you hungry now that you've been outside? Running around at 3 in the morning? Oh, it's now 4 in the morning. And what else did you put beside pathways? So I like to use some slabs, different colors of slabs, and hay bales, wheat, it's fun playing with friends, but if they're not sleeping at night, then you can't sleep and you end up with those guys that come and so we have 35 bone meal Okay. I saw it floating out there. So we've got 48 now. 49. Get 50. Then let's take the rest of them. Sure, we're still safe over here. Let's take the rest of them and oh, we have to go get a. Hey, Meowkis, what's the problem? Are you hungry? Do you want me to fill up your little bowl? You could do that. What's in here? Hey, windows. Let's take some windows back to the other house. I'll take the seagrass. All right, this is what we came here for. We'll make hay bales. Okay, that's it. Let's go to sleep, and then we're going to cross the river.
Mm, hey there, Marcus. How's everything? Okay. Hi. Wow, you've got a little motor going, don't you? So now we go down to our flower making area. That's Cliff Lookout, Beach Bridge Crescent to Stony Peninsula. Oh, and to Turtle to Turtle Pond. That's yeah. I was thinking of okay the flower meadow. Let's go down to to Turtle Pond. I know, I'm off track. Can you not get out of there at all? Hey, hey, not the Christmas tree. No, 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 no. Well, if you have another one, if there's another turtle out there, we could breed the other two of you. But otherwise, no. Okay, so here's my flower making field. So I would like to try and put it as far away as I can. Sometimes you only get grass. Now, with one bone meal, I got four flowers. Five flowers. This time I got three. And three more. Of this one. <clears throat> Those are my favorite. I wonder how many blocks you get from one bone meal. You get either grass or. Okay, Chumbles won't stick in. Hi, Chumbles.
Jeez, boy, is it raining out? I guess it must be. I wish it wouldn't be getting wet, right? So we can't see it. Okay, so. So let's see how many you actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 21, 22, 23. Is that how many? It was, did this all come from that last bone meal hit? Let's try it again and see what we get. See, now if this bush were not there, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Was I hitting, was I counting right? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Now maybe over here you'd get more because it's a bigger open area. It won't go up to the second level. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. It's kind of random, isn't it? So let's see. So we had 40 bone meal. Now, if I were getting the double, the double-sized plants, I would have, I could get 40, right? But now I've got one. What have I got here? Six, twenty, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, thirty-one. So I've gotten 31 using. 3, 7, 3 through 9, 40. Is that all I've got? I didn't hit, I hit it more than three times, though, didn't I? See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Seven flowers that time.
Okay. So now I have lots of flowers. Let's see if it's okay to sleep here. I think it's alright. Sleeping through the night. Okay. Let's see. I've been putting all my flowers in here. So I got 3 plus 27, so that's 30. 8. 38. 40. 45. So I got 45 flowers. I don't know if I started with 40 now. Anyway, you get a lot more flowers. Sometimes you just get grass. But of course, you know, you compost the grass. Okay. Now, I also want these. They add a lot, don't they? I'm going to use the rest of my bone meal up on these kinds. Three of these. So, ten peonies. Ten roses. And I guess we'll see a lilac on our way. Do you see any lilacs? Isn't that pretty? I really I really like this area. Of course that's my flower making field. <sighs> I really like having signs to flower flowing pond. Flower Meadow and Beach Trail, which is Beach Trail Circle, that's the name of this one. Stony Path to Turtle Beach and Dry Pond. I have nine more of those. Let's look for a lilac while we're on our way to Turtle Beach. Let's go to Turtle Beach. Little boots, too. Hmm. Okay, I'll put this. Do you want to follow me? Come on. I'm going to be this way. I'm going over here. Okay, turtles, here we are. It's your lucky day. One, two, oops. Two, three, one, four. Okay. And did the other guy swim over here? Well, he's not in the water. There he is. Hello, fella. Here we go. You can have some. Uh, have you already been bred? Yes. And you? And you? There's one that hasn't. No. Oh, he's over there. Hey, come on over here, guy. Everybody's had some? One. Two, three, four, five, six, and here's one down here. Are you stuck in the block? Alright, let me see what I can do. I think turtles are so, so cute. 
to breed when I was watching them in the moat breeding the other day or last season they were they would face to face and then they would push the other one and, and they would end up spinning so look at that eggs they would spin each other around and then they would try and flip the other one over and then and then they would use their four feet and they would hold on to the shells of each other that would make them several inches apart but the family jewels are with very loose skin at the back of the legs so all that can Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And wait a minute, what's over here? Is another one under here? Hi. Oh, we got a, a little experience ball, which means there has been a baby made. Okay, so that's Turtle Beach. So here at this little pond, So what we can do here is we can hit this with bone meal and then we get seagrass. Which we can then harvest to feed our turtles. Look, we have turtle eggs. They dig and dig and put their whole they put their eggs in a hole in R L, you know. Alright, well let's go home. Aren't these pretty? Oh, I wanted to use these to get lilacs. Okay, lilacs. All right, now we have eight of those and ten of those and ten of those. And why are we back here? You know, I was thinking with sugar cane, we can make books. Well, no, I guess we need leather. I don't have any leather, do I? Not here. <clears throat> if you get shears, let's make get some shears and we'll get some. We'll go get that honey. I'm hungry. Well, let's sit and eat. Where's the campfire? It's already cooked, but we'll just sit and eat here. Or do we want to eat? Let's find a pretty spot to go eat. Oh, this is pretty. We'll sit here. 
Oh yeah, I have hay bales. I can breed you guys, that's right. One for you, and one for you. Can they reach each other? Yep, oh, another ball. Look, there's a little guy down there. So, let's put a lead on him so he doesn't go away. There you go. Now we'll breed this one. With this one. They have to find each other. Can you find each other? Are you even interested? What's going on now? Are you tied too far apart? Are you even tied? You're not tied at all. Watch the sunset from Beach Trail. Sometimes night is very pretty. So I keep harvesting all the short trees. So now I've only got tall trees around my house. So that was bone meal. I decided I'd like a map. But a map map might be nice. But I'll need leather for that. Let's go to Let's go to that birch house. Yeah, we have all these lovely pathways, but we don't always use them, right? I want to breed these two llamas. Hey, Llama Llama. I know you're so excited. Look at this, you're going to get to have a baby. Here we go. Well, stand still. One for you, and one for you. And we'll put a lead on you, little fella. Okay. Now you can't run away. No running away. Well, I guess that is llamas and bone meal. Oh, and we're going to get this honey. No, we can't get the honey till we get some a campfire. Because you know what that means if you get... Well, I need a coal. I have to do some work on that house. Look at how nicely this worked. I had one birch tree. Now I have all these birch trees. So this will be Birch Path, I guess. Birch Trail to the Birch House. We need to put more slabs up there. But I don't have any more birch. And I don't have a shovel. I mean a hoe. No. An axe. Hi everybody. Is everybody happy? Yes. Life is good. Yes, you're having fun. The 
want to go inside and see my house? I, I just was working here, and so I put these things down, and then it was night, so I put a bed down. And then I had just harvested all this birch, so I thought I might as well just do something useful. Oh, this is my little room to check out what's happening out there. <laughs> Isn't this pretty? I like the birch trees. It's because I love birch. These black things are called lintel. And when you're making a birch bark basket, if you try to cut into the into the birch you know, and hit the lintels, you know, you can the whole thing will rip along lintels. What should we call this area? Birch something. Birch. Birch. Oh, hmm, that's a birch line pathway. <coughs> birch. Hmm, what would you call it? You can put it in the comments. Birch Beach. No, Birch Way. Birch. Birch Ridge. Is it a ridge? It's kind of a ridge. It goes down on that side and down on that side. Down on that side. Ugh. Is it a ridge? Yeah, that's all downward. Down to the wool hollow. Birch Ridge. Yeah, let's call it Birch Ridge. I have a lot of those peonies there. I could use that as a spot for making flowers if I wanted to. Oh, there's a campfire down there. You can't move a campfire. You end up with charcoal. Here's the bees. Now, you can change the is it the FOV? The, let me see if I can figure that out. To see if I can see far away. Is it the render distance? Okay, let's see if I can see farther now. Ooh, everything is expanding. Look at that. Well, does it make it slower? Okay, we need a campfire, so we need coal to get the bees honey. Oh yeah, I was going to see this up here. This all needs to come out further. And not, not with oak. We're going to use birch this time. I wonder if they're ready to breed again. Let's go down and check. I have to have a little lot of time between it. Llama Llama. Hey Llama Llama. Ooh, exciting moment. little guy. Is that you? Let's tie you up too so you don't run away, especially if a wandering trader comes. They sometimes just go away with them. Hello little fella. You're so cute. You are. What a sweet family. But you know what? You're going to have more than two children. Yes you are. 
but I have no more leads. Goodbye. Well, so that's the end of our coverage. What is still there? Oh, ho, 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 big, big crack. Danger, danger. I think this is where I made that nice pathway the other day to go down to the lava. It's only one block of lava. And with a pail or a bucket, I could get a another lava, another and then I could make an infinite lava thing. Yes, shall we do that? I think there's a I think we have a bucket up here. Okay, so we're gonna stop this video and we'll start another one, okay? So let's go over here and stop. Okay, it was fun. Bye.